Hi there, uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, I'm simply going to explain how you can track uh, just one source of traffic uh, within uh, within Matomo Analytics. So the typical use case is the following one. Uh, let's imagine that um, um, so you have a website and tomorrow uh, one company is going to work with you, one third party company. Uh, they want to insert a Matomo tracking code within uh, your website because they will be in charge of uh, marketing channels. So let's imagine emailing and um, and you don't want uh, to give them an access to all uh, your data. Um, so on the other side, uh, you don't want to just send reports uh, to them because they should have all in hand in order to be able to make their work properly. Um, so in order to do so, um, just to let you know that most of the people have Google Analytics in mind, but just in, in Google Analytics, you have a feature called view and this concept does not exist within Matomo Analytics. So we're gonna see how we can do uh, somehow the same thing within Matomo. But it's just that uh, the concept of view does not exist. So it consists for us in embedding um, a tracking code and so on and so forth. So let's imagine that they send you uh, their uh, Matomo tag uh, manager container, or at least uh, you're gonna insert your own Matomo tag manager container. You're gonna set just Matomo for them and you're gonna give an access to them to this uh, to this Matomo. So um, what we want to achieve is in fact, uh, really simple. I would like to thank one of my friends, Frederic, uh, who helped me uh, getting the, the big picture here. So you need to have two tags. One tag is uh, what I call here the Matomo cookie uh, refer. In my case, I'm doing it for a campaign. So it's a bit different than tracking source of uh, organic search, such as the one of Google or um, um, just classic referral website, but just this is how it looks like. So I created a custom HTML tag. This custom HTML tag is going to set a cookie and it's going to set a cookie. Uh, so in order to set a cookie, you just go over here and copy and paste this, uh, this snippet of code. Just to let you know that in my case, I'm not specifying an expiry date which is something that probably you will be interested in. Uh, here I gave uh, a name and I gave a value to my uh, to my cookie. Here it doesn't matter really what you're gonna make, okay? It's not because it's campaign or matter more that it really matters, uh, but I just put it like this um, in my way. And I want in fact this given cookie to be set under one single condition. It's when the page URL contain the following value, which correspond to, uh, let's say, the campaign parameter that they are going to insert when they will do their, their emailing. So that's one tag. Then I have another tag, uh, which is the following one, which is the Matomo Analytics uh, Classic tag. And this one has a condition which is uh, further than all the pages. But in addition to that, uh, the following condition needs to be met. So. Uh, there should be a first party cookie uh, set which equals uh, Matomo, uh, which goes back in fact to the first tag that I set over here. And as a result, uh, what's gonna happen is that if I connect to my uh, to my website, so I'm just gonna connect to my website. Um, so that's uh, so let's first check the the cookies that we have over here. So storage, and I look and I don't have any cookies, which is good for my example and i'm going to access to the website which is the following one okay so i'm just copying this part out and just uh, putting it over here okay so let's let's do it this way okay uh, so here as you can see there's no cookie which have been set so actually the visit will not be recorded and why won't it be recorded well because uh, the conditions have not been uh, matched. So if I look over here, if I look at the date of today, uh, as you can see it's 704 uh, and if I look at 704 nothing happened. Okay, And the reason is that no cookie have been set. Now I'm going to access back to this given page and I'm going to add this given so take a campaign and we say that's going to be newsletter, right? So like this. Okay, so here what's going to happen is that so uh, pick a campaign parameter, pick a campaign newsletter, everything looks good. Uh, here in my case, I needed to refresh the 
the cache. And here you can see when I uh, load the page, there was one uh, cookie which have been set. And because this cookie have been set, so cookie name Matomo, then it was able to uh, fire the Matomo tracking code. So as a result, when I look at my data now, I get my visit recorded, which is uh, the probably, which one is it? Do, 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 do. Hmm, funny. Uh, I can, well, probably that's the one. Uh, do, do, do. Um, unless I get some delay, no, I don't. Okay, it's kind of funny because we could clearly see that the cookie have been set and they are set if conditions are met. So just gonna just gonna visit another page on this one just in order to better identify who am I so contact details if I go back over here I should see the contact detail page appearing which will clearly me uh, help me identify in which visit I am so uh, contact um, this one well that's interesting because uh, I cannot see it well, it's actually the cookie been updated so um, let's look okay okay so nothing crazy here I mean everything got pushed properly white paper published Hmm. Well, uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to access it through uh, another browser because I just need to double check that. Uh, so let's go this way and let's go for this one and let's go for this one and what's gonna happen now so clearly that's the one which is following and I still do not understand why the data are not coming properly uh, through the other one so no idea what's uh, what's blocking the tracker, but just to let you know, that's uh, one technique uh, which will work, as you can see, because only the data coming from the newsletter campaign have been uh, recorded. Here it was before I implemented the, the tracking code, so definitely this uh, should uh, give you a um, kind of a good idea of how, it, how that works. Uh, not that in my case, I'm not using I'm not using over here the refer uh, variable and the reason why I'm not using the refer variable is that uh, it will work for any other channel types but not for the campaign because for the campaign it needs first uh, to be recognized by Matomo so in my case um, it will work uh, for a campaign if I have it within the page URL and not through uh, the, the refer. And that's uh, everything that I wanted to uh, to show you for today. So as a result, will be recorded within this given website only the visits which are coming from this given campaign and not anything else. And uh, and that's everything that I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.